It is a beautiful day here in Seattle. It's nice and sunny, kind of breezy. I feel fall in the air and it kind of feels nice. And um, it's uh, it, it's getting me more focused. I'm like, we should do gardening stuff and then painting stuff and working stuff. <laughs> it's a good time, it's a good time. Okay, I'm gonna move my mic a little bit and then just get started. All right, let's see if this is better. I think this is good. I'm talking normally. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds great. So I've got this piece and I've got my little jar. I've been using this jar system for gouache painting for a while now and it's pretty great. Basically, instead of mixing on palette, I mix in my little jar and the color is a lot more controlled. <laughs> kind of nifty, kind of handy. I've got a gradient happening going like this and we're slowly working our way this way. I think I'm gonna start moving it towards blue at this point. We'll see what happens. We'll see. I have almost entirely run out of white paint which means my painting is quite dark and we're rolling with it. I'm like it's gonna be a dark painting and that's fine simply because I could only add, truly only add yellow to make it any brighter and I don't really want a yellow painting. So <laughs> here we are. Hello! How's it going, Matt? Good to see you! Can't believe you're the first person here. <laughs> Welcome in! How's your day going? Happy Thursday! I missed your f username. <laughs> your face? I don't think I've ever seen your face. I've seen your cosplays, but I don't know if that counts. <laughs> but um, it's, it's good to see you, it's good to see you. How has uh, convention life been going? <laughs> Let me move this over just a bit. I think that's better. Your new deck that you got is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Like, I like pixel art, and I'm impressed with that. Got an ad here, so I'll wait a minute.
welcome back. Thanks for watching the ad. Um, okay, yeah, so your tarot deck, the pixel one, beautiful, gorgeous, I love it. So, it's so interesting. I feel like I've seen some, I'm gonna say video game style art, and I feel like pixel art is definitely, lends itself to that, where I've just been like, this is mediocre, but that one is so cool. Oh my gosh, it's wild. My sister just sent me this ad that she found. <laughs> And it was um from it was of a, a tarot deck and I was like, oh that's pretty cool. And then I looked at who was selling it and it was heckin' West Elm. And I'm like, West Elm is doing tarot decks now? We've really come mainstream. I mean, the witches of old would be very happy with this, but also probably not into the capitalistic part of it. But you know what? <laughs> it's like it's fine. At least, you know, we're, we're being encouraged to buy tarot decks and not burned at the stake for it. So that's that's exciting. That's exciting. Yeah, like sometimes you think about it and you can't stop. It's like it takes over your brain. It's almost satisfying how it does that. I was traveling recently. And when I was in London, I found this shop full of like mystic books. And I was like, this is dope. I don't think I've ever seen a shop like this before in my life. So I went in and I was like looking around and I was like, I don't even understand some of the subjects that are listed here. There's a lot to look at. So I went to what was safe for me, which is tarot, which I've studied now for a couple of years, which is wild to say out loud for like four years now since pandemic. Wild. Anyways, and I saw this deck and I was like, this is pretty cool looking. The whole thing was like packaged up so you couldn't see the individual cards at all. And there was like no uh, images on the back. And I was like, but, but the wrapping of the deck was very geometric, like my artwork. I was like, wow, look at those diamonds and triangles. Woo! <laughs> and, and I was like thinking about it. And then I looked at the price and I was like, this is a really expensive deck. This is a fancy, this is a fancy artsy deck. This is not a $30 deck you buy off of wherever this is it was like 80 pounds <laughs> and I was like I need to like think 10 times about this so I was like looking at it then I like went online and I looked up the artist and I was like oh this artist is doing cool stuff and then um I was like I don't know if I can spend 80 pounds on on a, on a deck of cards that's like a lot of money that's like 90 dollars maybe a, almost 100 US dollars and then it was like, but this book, it, it comes with this book that tells you all about it. And I was like, that's kind of cool. So it's not just a deck, it's a deck and a book. And then I was like, mm, I'm going to wait. So then I like left the shop and I like walked around the block and then I walked right back into the shop <laughs> and I looked at the deck some more and then like the cashier like noticed me because I came back. And I was like, this is really cool. And then I like went back online. And I was like looking at reviews and stuff. And then I saw the artist's website was selling them for $60 US. And it would get to me real fast because they were a US artist. And I was like, never mind. I'm, I'm ordering straight from the source. We're going to do it. And so I bought the deck and I got here two days ago. And I'm not going to show you here on Twitch, but uh, I will show you. The link because I haven't even opened the deck yet. I've just been like so excited. It's been so cool. Hold on, let me find it. Um, what the heck is it called? It's called the Carnival at the End of the World. Here it is. I just bought this. It's so beautiful. It's so cool. Ooh, amazing. If I were to buy mass more mass produced decks, I would definitely be from a local shop. Unless it's a Persona deck. Oh, do they make Persona tarot decks? I should share this link on my Discord. If you're watching and you're into tarot, uh, my Discord has a whole section for it. Amazing. All right, there you go. Fabulous. Anyways, the one you bought was $60, you know? For like good quality cardstock and everything, that's what it costs. And I don't buy decks very often, like maybe one every couple of years. I have, 
I think four total at this point. So they're like investments. <laughs> and I use them often. <laughs> It's so artsy! So good! They've got a... It's true, it's true! It's so heavily Arcana themed. I should look them up. It sounds like fun. I love the Persona games. Okay, but Matt, the real question I have for you is, what major Arcana sign do you most have an affinity towards? The Hierophant. Why is that? It's a great card. Nice. Um, my favorite is, I really like the tower. Ever since I made that painting based off of it, even before then, I've been like so obsessed with it. It's so interesting to me. I just, I love the idea of, of breaking what feels perfect of breaking perfectionism. And I think it's like a, a time in my life, like this is a season of breaking perfect things for me in order to grow. And I'm just, I love that idea and that concept. And it's, it's, it's so fun. The moon is great. Yeah, and I love, I also love the star that comes after. So like those two together, my favorite pairs, but the tower is like, it's number one. If you're lurking and you want to tell me what your favorite Arcana card is, I want to. I want to know what's your favorite minor. Your favorite minor card. When I think about the minor cards, um, I feel like I, I really like the wand suits. I feel like I resonate with the ace of wand. Gosh, that's funny. That's a great character rep like resemblance. I like that. Getting lost. Okay, so now we go here. No. Yes. Yes. That one. And then that one. Yeah.
It just occurred to me that I forgot to post my um, Twitch replay on YouTube yesterday, two days ago. <laughs> trying to be better at posting these because people watch them and it's cute. The Fool is always the main character and I love it. I've played Persona 5, not the Royale, but I played the original one. Um, or, or the first one, I guess. And I love that. I think I went a little heavy into the blue. Okay. How steady my hand is. Ah, thank you. <laughs> I've practiced so much. <laughs> you ever have you ever gotten a compliment on something that used to be your weakness? Like, there's no greater high. For so many years, people were like, when I would get critiques on my art, people were like, Stephanie, your lines suck. <laughs> your edge work is bad. <laughs> and it was, it was truly bad. And so like now when I get complimented for it, I'm just like, holy cats. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> the practice worked. <laughs> Hi, my pot. How's it going? <laughs> we got some spooky scaries. Shivers down your spine. School started. Very nice. I've forgotten. Are you teaching or learning? You're teaching, right? I think you're teaching. Maybe you're learning also. <laughs> School is starting. Yes. You've been busy. I know you were streaming so much and then suddenly I had to drop off. <laughs> I've been noticing schools beginning to start here in Seattle. I, like the traffic changes, patterns change like for everyone. It's, it's wild. There's this one kid on my block that does, like, practices basketball just constantly, all the time. You can hear him shooting hoops. Just, it's great. And I was like, why is it suddenly so quiet all the time? Where is the kid and his music and his basketball? And then I finally saw in his yard, it was like, graduating class of 2024. And I'm like, uh, did he go to college? I hope he got a basketball scholarship. It's so cute. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -da -ba. You'll be back on Sunday? Heck yeah. Are you still working on a game? Over here.
I recently got a new game that I'm going to try playing either on Friday or, or on Sunday. I'm real excited. I also would really love to try out the new um, like co-streaming feature that Twitch has implemented. I think it would be kind of fun. Oh, does everyone hate it? Wait, tell me more drama right now. <laughs> Who hates it? <laughs> I I've missed the drama. <laughs> what do you mean everyone hates it and you can't turn it off? I didn't I didn't know that part. But I guess if you were more popular than I. <laughs> it could get annoying. Ba -ba -ba. Anyways, the uh, the game is called... What is the game called? That's such a great question. I just recently got it because someone bought it for me and it looks fun. It's called Gordlets. Gordlets. And it has a Twitch integration which would allow me to name you fewer as one of my little townsfolk players. Cute. <laughs> I don't know if it's as like dark as uh, Cult of the Lamb, where you could just like sacrifice them for your own personal needs, but you know, maybe, maybe. Oh gosh, that is annoying. Fascinating. Fascinating, fascinating. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see, we might play my play game. Tomorrow is Friday. I'm like in the middle of show prep, so the fact that I'm even doing this painting right now is like a little procrastination-y, <laughs> but we're doing good. I need to print off like a thousand labels today. down a coughing sound in the song. I don't like that. This is copyright free music. Okay, hold on. One second. Gotta get rid of that. Ew. No, thank you. <laughs> really? Hey, Galaxy. How's it going? I can't believe you're the first person here. <laughs> da -da -da. I haven't played a new game in so long. I've been playing Sky still, like, religiously. It just has such a hold on me. No, I need less space. Less space. Okay. Just, I can't stop playing it. It's just so much fun, okay? <laughs> Planning the collapse is nice. Surprise collapse could be good. Could be good. Could be terrible. We'll see. We'll see. I'm hoping to do some more collaborations with Wendy. Coming up soon, we have another Hands of Death session happening not this weekend, but the next weekend. And that'll be nice. And then, uh, yeah, we want to we wanna finish Taylor Tales, which is such a silly game.
have a little tea break and by tea I mean water with strawberries in it because I'm a child. I feel like if you're not putting tasty syrups and stuff in your water, are you even living? Yeah. How's it going to me? Um, things are going well. I'm working on this and then I have some more art show prep to do. I'm looking over there because that's where the pile of things that I need to attend to is. And uh, the sand dune worm, I have not worked on it since I left, so it's not come out. It's just kind of waiting for me. <laughs> I'll get back to it next week after I hang my show this weekend. And um, yeah, things are going good. I'm busy, but like a good kind. My goal is to not burn myself out with the holidays this year. That's the goal. We'll see if it happens. Um, and part of that is doing a little studio refresh soon. Um, I went to Ikea today. And Ikea is always so much fun. <laughs> it's so silly. It's such a like a massive Disneyland of home improvement. What a, what a bizarre and magical place Ikea is. Have you ever been to an Ikea? Do you, do you, do you understand what I'm talking about? I needed a coat rack because I have a lot of the tote bags that I prepped last session and I need a way to display them that is both portable and looks good and shows them all off. So I got one of those today. It's going to look great. I need to build it still. And then I was like, you know, my studio is extremely cluttered and once I get my show stuff out the door, right? Like I get all my Zodiac things out and on a wall and in the tea house, I'll have a lot more space to do some reorganizing. So I'm excited for that. I'm also looking to upgrade the desk my computer is on, which I haven't done. I have this desk that I thrifted <laughs> over 10 years ago. <laughs> it's a great desk, but it's kind of little and I'm like, it'd be nice to have something bigger. So I don't have to use this like little bistro table I've been working on when you were younger. It's um, it's an experience. It's kind of fun. It's very novel. If you, if you can go to one at some point in your life, I highly recommend it. Not on a weekend though. Go during a weekday if you can. It's a lot quieter. Today I got my coat rack, but I also got some boxes for like storage and stuff because I have a lot of magic potions. And by magic potions, I mean mediums for painting that I don't use very often. I'm like these don't need to be displayed. These can be stored away and, you know, stored better with the whole light fastness thing. If it's enclosed in a dark space, that's better. So. I got some of those and then I got a new box for all my gouache paints since it's something I'm using all the time now. Exciting. Uh, yeah. And then I got home and I measured my space and I'm thinking I'm going to order one and maybe two new desks very soon. I'm excited. I have the space right next to me that is a bookshelf and it's got you know, a dozen art books on it that I almost never reach for during my painting sessions. And I've, I've got a library. By a library, I mean I've got like two bookshelves in my house. So I'm like, those can just live over there and when I need one I can just go get it. But I'm like, what else is this bookshelf holding? Uh, empty sketchbooks. Like, okay, cool. I can, I can put those in a box. And then it's like, my cactus and my little spray bottles. I'm like, those can be not here. They can be somewhere else. <laughs> so eventually we will have a studio refresh stream and I might even make it a whole last YouTube video because why not? And it's kind of fun to do before and after, especially if something is extremely cluttered like my studio is. I just, I need something simpler, you know? I need less visual clutter so I can have better paintings. I think it makes a difference. I don't know. 
Are you a cluttered person? Yes, but your desk sort of is. <laughs> if you've been around my Twitch streams for several years, which Matt definitely has, um, you know that I do cleaning streams like once a year, sometimes twice a year. It's kind of fun. I basically built my whole studio on stream, which is, it's fun to look back at. Do, do. There's also something about streaming your cleaning process. It keeps you like focused. You, you don't like mess around on your phone, which is something I'm prone to when I start cleaning. And then like, you know, when you start cleaning, you have like a bigger mess because you've moved all the things. And then there's like, there gets a point there where I like look at it all and become exhausted. And then I'm like, what if I just play Candy Crush or whatever <laughs> and don't like follow through. But when I'm streaming, I follow through. It's so good. Pomodoro, but with cleaning. That's such a great, that's such a great thing. How long do you set your timer normally? It works. Purple, purple, Fabulous. Yeah, 5010 is it's pretty effective. This purple is getting pretty dark. I might start adding black to it to even make it richer. We'll see.
Get out of here. <laughs> I'll see you later, one pot. Have a good day. Ooh, extra time out. <laughs> Just we love a, a signature wine pot exit. <laughs> I feel like every time, I, actually no, every single time he leaves the stream, he presses the button. It's very fun. One eternity later. <laughs> we should be mean. We've taken forever with it. Yeah, that's uh, it's probably something I should talk to my therapist about, isn't it? <laughs> like, what happened to the girl who finished 40 paintings in a year? Da -da 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 -da. Why, thank you. Um, yeah, 2002 and 2003, Stephanie was like on top of it. <laughs> you up to right now galaxy you working on anything There's been so many bugs lately. They must be scrambling to try and fix stuff. start adding black just a little bit darken the color even more not so bad yesterday I had to fully restart the game Just having so many issues Look, 
hopefully these issues don't happen very often. Yeah. I like this purple, it's nice. Okay. I'm good. What's this? A raid. Hello, welcome in, Raiders. Hey, hi, hello. My name is Stevie. Today we're painting. Sorrow, good to see you. How is your stream? Can I get a shout out for Sorrow? It was good. <laughs> hey, Clover, how's it going? <laughs> Were you playing Sky? You were helping a moth friend in Sky. Love it, love it. If you like Sky content and you like it when I play Sky on Fridays, you should follow Sorrow because you're going to have a good time. <laughs> it's going to be great. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, welcome. Just uh, And yeah, you're here now, so congratulations. You've made it. Um, you, you had a little flight. You helped a newbie. How cute. I got... I was playing Sky, what, like two days ago, and I met a moth, and they were like, be my friend, and I was like, okay, and then they immediately left the game afterwards, and I was like, all right. <laughs> I guess I'll never see you. <laughs> they were like, thanks for making me a friend, and then just gone. Never mind. Do, 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 do. Oh, we met through, I believe that's Sky Nerd. Probably. Or they came to a stream? I can't remember. It's one of these rap. I have so many moth friends since, that I have never come in back since I friended them, which is why the unfriend option is perfect now. It's so good. I'm like, if you come back and we happen to be friends again, great. Otherwise, Goodbye. <laughs> Let me just clean up outer space of all these moths I have. <laughs> Two years. Oh, you should get rid of them. Be ruthless. Two years is a long time for them to not play the game again. <laughs> How 
How are you liking Days of Summer? Or Sunlight. Days of Sunlight? Days of Summer? No, whatever. One of those. It's so cute. I love the jellyfish that follows you around. Hmm. Adorable. I've been dressed. My Sky Kid's been dressed for days of summer for like two months now. <laughs> I'm like, great. <laughs> It's been chaotic. It's true. But like, at least grandma works. Because I feel like if grandma didn't work in that area, that would be so tragic. <laughs> Anyways, if y'all need a raid and run, I completely understand. You no know, raiding takes, or er, streaming takes a lot of energy. <laughs> but otherwise, I'll be, uh, I'll be painting probably for another hour or so. Ba -ba -da -bum. And if you want some more Sky content, I'll be streaming Sky tomorrow. Mistake there. That's okay.
myself. I'm gonna take a little break. Let's stretch my hands. My shaking hands could never. Well, it's because I practice a lot. <laughs> we do stretches. Mm -hmm. I made myself um, strawberry sparkling water today. This feels like the ultimate strawberry deliciousness. Like I kind of wish I had some mint to put in with it, but I'm like, this is a summer drink. <laughs> Are y'all staying hydrated? Yeah. Okay, I think this next color that I put down is like really gonna start to bring things together. I've got two more passes, I think. Maybe one. I need to do another blue tone one, I think. Mm -hmm. Right now it's like hard to like kind of see the vision of it because there's just so much going on. It's Stitch, like Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -da. What is Stitch? Mm. It's cute. Yeah, I think what this needs is like a light blue to dark. So what I'm going to do next is because I have these like bow tie shapes, I'm going to do down pointing and left pointing and then save up pointing and right pointing for a different color. And I think that'll make sense. Ah, patterns. It's school. Thanks for the follow. Hey, hi, hello. My name's Stephanie. Nice to meet you. Okay, okay, hold on. I'm gonna <laughs> take a longer break. I'm like, I'm gonna take a break, and then 20 seconds later, not take one. Okay, I'm gonna do a little quick be right. What do you mean you didn't learn anything today? <laughs> Kind of answers that. All right, we're gonna do a be right back. I'm gonna run an ad and um, I'll see y'all in like three minutes.
What's up? Welcome back. All right, so now I'm going to start on this corner and work my way upwards. Um, I'm actually going to flip my canvas around so I'm less likely to run into wet paint. <laughs> oh heck, it's booty! What's up, Buttercup? How are you doing? Okay, the plan is we're going to take the dark purple tone that we have up here. I'm going to start to move it towards lightness and up to blue as we get up here. Um, I'm going to focus on ones that go this way and ones that go that way. And as I hit them, it's going to work out. Probably. Yeah. You took a nap? How was the nap? Was it good? Was it great? Was it grand? Now I only have like a little bit of white, so we'll see how this goes. Oh yay, sweaty naps. All right, can you see what I'm doing? I think so. Here we go. So now I take that. All right, all right. Take it. La la la. Time to purge the water. <laughs> Gross. more like it this is what I was looking for okay and now we're gonna do one thing to the right Okay, that's good, that's good. Hey, how's your how's your life been going, booty? You holding up? How's, how's your life going? How's everything holding up? <laughs> the cats are ganging up on you. You've had a nap.
was a little overzealous there. Let me let me try that again. <laughs> oops, oops, oh gosh, I'm making a mess. Okay, all right, slow down, Stephanie. <laughs> That'll be fine. Okay, I can fix the other part later. <laughs> The cats are having issues. Oh no. <laughs> ba -ba I think I'm gonna play Gordlets. Is that how you say it? Gordlets? I think I'm gonna play it on Sunday. It's very likely. Depends on how tired I am from setting up my my art show. We will see. Posture check! What, you think I should not be leaning over my palette so aggressively? <laughs> Thank you for the posture check. I hope you check yours too. Ba -ba. Closing night at work was well bizarre and slightly scary experience. What happened? We have to go. I'll see you later. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out today. Interesting. Weird.
Hello! How's it going? <laughs> That's so weird. That's so weird. Have you ever encountered someone staying... Someone actually doing that? Someone actually staying overnight in the store? Wild. Wait, speaking of Ikea. All right. I was at Ikea today because you're awesome. Excellent. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I was at Ikea today because I need things for my show coming up. And I was, I was looking for a, a standing coat rack and I got one. And it's for all my tote bags and I'm going to display them all cute. It's going to be great. Anyways, so I was there. I was picking up my coat rack. And I was like going through their rooms that they have all staged up and it's like a maze. And I walked by this one, you like, you like round a corner. And so you can't really see anything from the side. And there's this like girl sitting on a bed and she's like doing her hair and her makeup. And then there was this like guy that was like looking out. And then there was this other person. And I think they were like filming a bit. <laughs> like they clearly did not work there. And it was like really strange and I like made eye contact with the guy and then with the girl and then I just kept walking. I was like, I don't want to know what this is about. I don't know why you're fixing your hair. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to know any of this. <laughs> and an armory? No, in an armoire. Stayed in an armoire. Bruh. Bruh, it's too much. It's too much. <laughs> no. <laughs> People were not paid enough to deal with this. Wild. La, 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 la. Like all the things to do. This is not it. This is not it. Caliente, why are you doing awesome today? What's going on? What's what's good? Everything is awesome. Going to Ikea makes my like decoration and organization brain just like go haywire I just I'm like I go in for one thing and I come out with a million and two ideas anyways I'm now ready to completely reorganize my art studio it's gonna be great I need to order a desk or two but it's gonna be super Just because, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, 
thought the store was getting wrong. <laughs> life happens to people, or people make life happen, and we are the people who make life happen. You, you are doing good, aren't you? <laughs> They were doing a TikTok and we kicked them out. You can't do this without telling us. <laughs> Gosh. Blech. La 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 la. Mm Now I'm pulling out the blue tones in this and keep doing so until we get almost there. Did I tell you about my adventures in Braland? Because it's an ongoing struggle. What are you struggling with when it comes to bras? Eating a sandwich with the salami slices. Because we're too sick to go out to get food and it's great. Oh, are you like on cough medicine right now? <laughs> You're giving the vibe. <laughs> it's giving, I've been on too much day quill. So we have to put clothes back when people put them on racks in the dressing area. Yeah, and sometimes they're bras, which as it turns out comes in a dizzying array of options. Yeah, there's there's a lot of body types and there's a lot of bras out there. I want too much everything. I hope you feel better soon. Well, welcome back. Welcome back. How's it going? Got to keep that streak up, eh, Charles? <laughs> oh, I appreciate the dedication. Which one is most comfortable? Ma'am, even if I had any frame of reference, you are much more endowed than I am. How am I supposed to answer that? <laughs> I guess it's a learning curve, eh? That's pretty funny. I'm sorry for your struggles. But also, it makes for great Twitch content, so like, am I sorry? A long time since I've bought a bra in person. Normally I order them. I think I bought my, my first bras at a department store, but like after that, I was like, this is a miserable experience. <laughs>
You know, that's pretty intuitive of you, Booty. Um, wireless bras are more comfortable, but they also give you less support. So like, if they're too big, you have like back issues and it's like a whole thing, so. Da, 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 da. Get a sports bra. Sports bras are constricting. Cause like that's the job they need to do is to prevent movement <laughs> and so they're not exactly comfortable You don't know anything except for where caps lock is. I'm liking how this painting is turning out. Some fun colors. So blue, 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 blue. I found a woman. I found out women have a type of jeans called boyfriend jeans, and I deduced, deduced, deduced. The, the dyslexia. Oh my gosh, <laughs> the dyslexia is strong today. <laughs> boyfriend jeans, and I deduced that it was pants for single women who could can't steal their man's pants. Ah. It's a, it's a cut. They're like a lot baggier and basically are only tied at the waistband. And so like you can see like zero shapes <laughs> when they wear them. Sometimes they have like different styles of pockets that you don't normally see on traditionally women's cut jeans, which is interesting. Like sometimes they'll have um, like hooks for hammers you know those like weird hooks you see on the pants? It's, it's weird.
interesting roleplay y'all doing. Oh yeah, I like how this is going. Okay, we're doing good things. It's working. The thing is happening. Every once in a while you get to a color point where things start clicking. This is it. Are any of you working on some artwork right now also? Or maybe work, work? Why are, are my cameras having a fit? One second, I have to replace the battery. Mark that one down. Like, I can't do it. I must perish. Ba -ba -da -ba. Thanks for the follow. Hello, my name is Stephanie. I make abstract oil and also gouache paintings. Are you an artist? Got an ad starting in about 15 seconds here, which is good so I can fix this.
<laughs> Destroyers. <laughs> All right, let's let's refresh this camera. There we go. I like to see it. Do do perfect. If you're here and you're subscribed, I appreciate you. Welcome back, welcome back. Escapist 2. Ooh, that sounds fun. Destroyers, are you an artist? Carmen Herrera? Yeah. <laughs> so good. You place an inmate trying to get out of prison? Sounds intense. I've been reading a book about an art theft. It's for Art Book Club, and it's about the most successful art thief there has ever been and it goes through his interviews and just like all the insane things he and his girlfriend stole over like 25 years it's wild you entered at the british gallery that represented her oh cool that's so cool I love geometry. I love optical illusions. So much fun. Artists think about color theory like all the time. <laughs> I feel like every person who goes into a museum thinks about stealing and like how they would do it. But most people can like turn that off. <laughs> Be like, oh, I'm not actually going to steal the thing. I feel like it's very human to think those thoughts though. Did you know that Picasso hired someone to steal for him? That's something I learned about in this book. 
Color is terrifying. Yeah, but like once you practice, it's not so bad. You must be an artist. Maybe just an art appreciator. Both. Bum, 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 bum. No place in that hat. Sorry, I know a place that has a Rudin a, ter a Tintor. How do you say that? Tintor. Like a sun painting that legit has no security. <laughs> Wild. Feeling good. I'm liking this one. Whew. 
Okay, I'm gonna go get some more water. I'll be right back. Hang out for a second. It's funny how color mixing takes most of the time. Painting the triangle takes like 10 seconds, but mixing the color takes so much longer. <laughs> Thank you. 
to get lost on which cell to do next. more painting time with me I'm gonna do a co-stream on discord tomorrow not a co-stream a co-working session on discord for creatives you can chat listen to music make some art it's fun Call it there. Shall we do a shall we do a raid? Should we go say hi to someone? Let's see who's live. <laughs> who's here? Back to Twitch. Do, 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 do. A lot of painters on right now, but we can go see Aaron Bun paints. Yeah, I think that sounds like fun. Yeah, we'll go say hi. Aaron's working on a landscape. It looks really cool. All right, friends and foes, thanks for hanging out. I'll be back tomorrow playing Sky. I'll also be on Discord on the Arts and Crafts table and doing some co-working in the morning if you want to hang out. That's fun. And if not, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. See you later, alligators. Goodbye. Toodles.